Well, Merry Christmas. Welcome to Christmas Eve here in the South. It is 71 degrees. It is December the 24th, 2016. And I thought I'd show you a couple of projects that I recently finished. And uh, just thought I'd let's take a look at them. I hadn't done a video in a while, so it's a quiet day. It's a warm day, beautiful outside a little warm for Christmas so uh, let's take a quick look at a couple of projects that I all right so a couple of things I finished up recently uh, got a hammock and an underquilt that I put together uh, first we'll look at the hammock uh, the hammock is uh, made out of a 1.7 uh, Robic XL from ripstop by the road uh, I did the knotty mod on one side for the foot box uh, just a standard gathered in. It is 11 and a half feet in length. And the ridge line, I think, about 115 inches is what I did the ridge line. That works out pretty good for me. Um, nothing fancy, just whip the ends and put a lark's head for on each end with a whoopie sling. And I've got them attached to uh, some tree straps with. Uh, Dutch clips and uh, and I can't remember the other piece. The Dutch clips and I'll, I'll put the specs there down below. The weight and everything. Uh, I really like it. The length is good. I'm six foot four, uh, 280, 285 ish, and this works out really well. It's not a lot of stretch, but it's just enough to make it comfortable, uh, and I really like it uh, so far. I haven't slept out in it yet, but I've laid in it for good bit in the backyard. So 11 and a half foot Robic XL 1.7 single layer gathered in, no bug net. And I'll give the weights and stuff uh, down below. So that's one project I finished up. I'll be using that in the winter time when there's no bugs out. The other project was a, started out as a Costco down uh, blanket or quilt that you get at Costco, those deals that are about 20 bucks. Uh, so let's take a closer look at, uh, I've customized it quite a bit. So I'll, uh, let's take a closer look at what I've done to that. So, as you can see, it started out as a Costco down blanket. And I shortened it. Well, first, I ripped the seams. I don't know if you can see that. But I ripped out the seams long ways and shook all the down, all down to one side. So I got all the down feathers down to one end. And then I trimmed it and hemmed the edge and got a size of approximately 50, it's, a, it's probably 56 to 50, I think it was actually about 57 or 58 this way. And it's about 48 wide so it's about 58 about 58 long approximately and about 46 to 48 wide somewhere in that range uh, I'll get the exact specs and post them down below so that's what I did at first shook all the down took out the seams the, the 58 um, width shook all the down down to one end trimmed it hemmed it and had a 48 about 58 approximately size underquilt. Well then I ripped the other seams in between as you can see every other seam and then went from a three inch wide baffle to six inches wide and I did that thinking it would allow the down to kind of fluff up a little more and give it a little bit more loft in there and I don't know if you can tell but uh that it, that did actually happen. It did did it did puff up and and spread out. But what happened was, is when I hung the quilt like this, all the down would migrate down into the center, and so it left the top pretty barren of, of down. So you had all the down, all the down was down here in the in the center, nice and thick and lofted, but not any up here because it all slid down into the center. So what I decided to do was I took I had some climashiel 
left over. So I took a piece of climbing shield, about eight to 10 inches wide, and I laid it on the outside here, on the upper side of the quilt, upper part, part of the quilt. So I've got some climbing shield five, Apex five climbing shield, a strip about 10 inches along here. Same thing on the other side, along this side. This is the five ounce. And put it on the outside. And then I took a piece of two and a half ounce climbing shield and put it on the bottom as well on the outside of the quilt. So I guess you'd say I've got kind of a hybrid down and climbing shield quilt. So it's five ounces here of climbing shield on each side, a strip, and then a two and a half ounce on the bottom on top of the down. And it's all stitched together and held together. This is this outside fabric is some of the uh, membrane taffeta 0.67, the real lightweight stuff from Ripstop by the Roll. So it's super thin, super lightweight, and um, but that holds it on the outside. Now, I've I've used this down easily to close to 30, maybe like 33, 31, somewhere in that neighborhood, and I was toasty warm. And I don't know if you can see how much loft is in there, but it's quite a bit. And so I don't see any reason why I couldn't get this down into the close to the 20s, probably. Uh, I'll post some weights and everything at the bottom, but uh, I think I weighed it and it's around 27 or 28 ounces, roughly. I think that's with the suspension. I'm not sure if it was or not. For the suspension, I just did a standard channel along the sides and then I ran shot cord through it up to the ends. But then here, I took uh, the little line locks and uh, as you can see, I sewed those on with a little loop and ran shot cord through them and have the secondary suspension. I think this is kind of how Hammock Gear does theirs now. I like the looks of that, so I kind of stole that idea uh, on this one. Did the same thing on this end. And then your standard channel with gathered in. I got to trim some some shot cord and stuff. I, I'm still kind of fitting it to make sure I got all the right length and everything. So I got some trimming to do on some shot cord and and such to get it just right. But So I think this is going to be a nice, for me, it'll be as, as cold as I usually get around here in the winter. Uh, I don't think I'll need anything any warmer than this. Uh, but let me, let me let you take a look at it when I'm laying in it. And you can see how it fits. You know, it goes from my shoulders down to about mid calf uh, for me, roughly. And I'm six foot four, so I'll get in there and let you take a look. All at right. It. So this is uh, this is how it fits. So got a good coverage from shoulders down to probably mid calf for this quilt, and I think it fits pretty well on this hammock. Uh, hopefully we'll get a little bit of cooler weather in the next few weeks and I'll get to try it out uh, even more, but I can definitely feel how warm it is right now on my back. Uh, it's snugged up nice and snug and uh, I'm looking forward to getting to try this hammock, so hopefully uh, try the hammock and the underquilt. Uh, I've got a, a Blackbird XLC that I normally use in the in the warmer weather when the uh, buds are out, but I was looking for something that was uh, a little bit lighter weight, and uh, when times of the year I didn't need the bug net, and so decided to make this scattered in out of the Robic, and um, modified this underquilt to make a super warm underquilt as well. I've got a couple other quilts uh, that I can use in the not so cold weather, but this gives me something when it's really cold. Uh, and it's a respectable weight. I mean, it's not as certainly not as light as some of the high-end down quilts, but for for what the cost I got into it and a little bit of labor, it's certainly a, a functional quilt that uh, I'll get some use out of. So, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, post them in the comments, and hope you found this useful. And uh, hope you get out and enjoy uh, a little backpacking and hiking uh, soon. So have a good day and uh, Merry Christmas.